Hey there! Today we have something exciting because this is a pen that I have received a lot of review requests for through the years. So this has been going on for a while and uh, Aziza picked one of these up at Pen Chalet. So um, I mentioned that in particular because I can give you a discount code to Pen Chalet. So after this, well, after watching this review, if you're very enthusiastic, you can use the code. The code is very simple. It's SBRE Brown, and you get a discount if you make a purchase. Okay, just want to share that in case you get all enthusiastic. But today we're going to be having a look at a sailor, and not just any sailor, uh, but an interesting sailor. It's an interesting sailor because it's a piston filler. Okay, box. Sailor box. I've, I've shown this before, I've seen some other videos, you know, this is nothing too fancy here. You have a little um, pen sleeve, a little pen bed, a little booklet. Let's look at the booklet. You have filling, oops, you have filling instructions and all that. Okay, yeah, well, we got that. It's just black and white, it's, it's nothing too fancy, it just gives you the instructions. Uh, they are in Japanese, but they. Um, uh, they also have them in English, so you should you should be fine if your Japanese is a bit rusty as mine is. Um, what about this pen? The pen is fascinating. It's a uh, the Rialo Pro Gear, all right. Flat top Pro Gear, but piston filler, and that's fascinating because a lot of people really like piston fillers <coughs> because they are not very fussy. Uh, the, the filling system is built into the pen. So you don't have to fiddle with cartridges or whatever, you just use this. And just for the record, because I often get that question, that does not mean you can also put cartridges in this. All right? It's either a piston filler or it's a cartridge filler, slash converter filler, but it's not, this is just car uh, con piston. Okay, just piston. Here we have it. You have them in black. This one is burgundy, which I, I like better. I think it's a nice color. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sound. Let's start, because we have a lot to cover. Top of the pen there, the finial, you have the nice uh, Sailor logo, which is that anchor, and I think it's, it's cute. I mean, uh, hello Sailor, it's definitely a, 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 you know, a marine theme. We have the clip, clip is simple. Uh, it's a, a Sailor clip, I like those little ribs on it that, that give it a bit of relief. I think it looks neat. We have the center band. Uh, center band looks looks neat. It doesn't stick out too far, uh, and it says um, uh, Sailor Japan, founded 1911. All right, that's that's all that's on there. The clip is stiff but usable. Now we go on. Here's one of my favorite features. I'll come back to that. The ink window. Okay, so you can see. It's about I think half empty now or something. You can see the ink in there. Okay, that's very neat. Then you have the barrel, barrel tapers down, and then at the end you have the piston turning knob. Cap unscrews, and then we have the nib. And as far as I know, Sailor is the only manufacturer that currently uses 21 karat gold nib, so not 14, not 18, but 21 karat. Uh, this is a, a nice nib, it's a broad. This is the hard broad, so on the side it says H B. Uh, I think it's that side, sorry. And, and uh, gold nib, two-tone, has the anchor on there again, has some scroll work, says 1911. And just for the record, it's not the 1911 model, right? There's also a pen model called 1911, but this is the Rialo, and it just has 1911 there, because Sailor was founded in that year. All right, broad nib, uh, feed, apart from that, nothing fancy. Section, as you can see, tapers down, flares out a little bit, and you have these, these threads. Smaller pen, uh, it's it's not a very large one. Even Ziza, who has smaller hands than I do, said that she found it a bit small. So just to give you an idea, I mean, it's 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 by no means a big pen, um, but you can post it, and I found it very comfortable to use when posted. As you can see, it, it does actually uh, gain quite some size by doing so. And that's a nice pen. It's not particularly top heavy, I think, has a little bit because of course you have the metal clip and all, but it's it's fairly well balanced and it's it's pleasant to use. So, what do I like about the pen and what do I not like about the pen? Well, it has some cool things going for it, I would say. First of all, I really like the burgundy color. 
it's not just another black pen with gold trims. Uh, Mont Blanc does it, Sailor also does it, Platinum does it. You see a lot of black pens gold trims. I think that the burgundy is a very nice color. Um, flat tops, they're not for everyone. Some people don't like it, some people do, but that's clearly a matter of taste. What I find cool about this pen is that it's a piston filler. And the reason, I mean, people, uh, I think, often are maybe a bit, how shall I put that, find it a little bit too important whether a pen is a piston filler or not. Um, yes, it's neat, it's neat that it holds its own ink, but the reason I like this pen so much as a piston filler is that the Sailor converters are very small, they have a very low capacity. Uh, I measured one and I came up to half a milliliter, so a Sailor converter holds half a milliliter of ink. Sailor cartridges are bigger, they hold some more, but a piston filler Definitely, I have to be honest, I haven't measured how much ink this holds, but I can tell you it holds more than half a milliliter. I would be very, very surprised if this only holds half a milliliter of ink. So in that regard, you have a bigger ink capacity. And of course, the counter-argument to that is, yes, but I like to change my inks very often. Yeah, well, then you should stick to one of the Sailor converters. But if you do a lot of writing, which is not always practical, half a milliliter of ink, I can finish that in an hour. Yeah, it's an hour of writing and it's gone. That, to me, that is useless. So. When you're like me, you like something that you can actually write with for a day or something, I think this is a lot nicer. A lot nicer, sorry. So, I really like that. Uh, the gold nibs Sailor does are pretty stellar. I don't think I've really had a lot of issues with the nibs, but this one is perfect. Broad nib, I checked it out under a loop. Uh, it's interesting that you can actually see that it's a little flattened, usually the rounder, but the nice thing about the flattening is that it's not really over polished, not too round, that it doesn't skip. This pen doesn't skip, starts up immediately, does what it's supposed to do. Uh, you may think that because it's 21 karat gold, it has a lot of flex to it, and that is not really the case. It's not, don't buy this expecting a semi flex nib because it's not even close to that. So that, that's, it's, you know, be, be a little careful with that, just that it has a high gold content, doesn't mean it, it's necessarily a lot uh, uh, flexier. So I like the way it writes, I like the way it feels, it has some feedback. It is definitely a feedback in nib, and I think Sailor nibs are a little bit known for that. And of course it is a Japanese nib, and it definitely applies here that the Japanese broad is one size smaller in a medium nib. So instead of being a western broad nib, I would call this a western medium nib. So if you want a super broad line, see if you can get this in a double broad. Don't know if it's available, but uh, you don't expect an ultra broad line. You'll see that in the writing sample. Now the final thing I wanted to mention that I'm quite enthusiastic about, that I really like, and I, I don't recall from the top of my head if I've ever seen it before, but is that ink window, and of course we have seen ink windows before, but the neat thing about this one is that you don't have to uncap the pen. So the pen is completely capped, and you can see the ink level. And that means that you always know how much ink is left. So if you're about to go out, you can quickly take out your pen and have a look, without having to uncap it, hold it against the light. I mean, it's very clear, it's, it's, I think that is a brilliant feature. Okay, what do I not like so much about the pen? Well, as I said, for me, it's a bit small, especially unposted. I, I find it a little uncomfortable, uncomfortably small, right? Posting it resolves the issue, so it's not really a big deal. The nib is feedbacky, and I know that a lot of people really like super smooth fountain pen nibs. Well, if that's what you like, then this may not be the pen for you, even though it is a very well tuned nib that writes very well, it won't give you a buttery smooth writing experience that a lot of people seem to uh, look for. And I base that on the questions I receive of at least once a week of what the smoothest nib ever is. So there's that. Um, apart from that, I don't really have any complaints. It's a well-made pen. It works. It's, it's manufactured well. These threads aren't sharp. It's comfortable to hold. Uh, even though it's a smaller pen, I think the section is definitely big enough to hold comfortably and the nib, I, I really find it a very, very pleasant writing experience. So I'm very happy about it. Now, to quickly mention this, what would you pay for something like this? Well, Panchalet, where we got it, so I'm going to go by their prices. They have it listed for 410 but their actual price is 328 So that's quite a bit off the list price. Now, uh, 328 is not cheap, but you are getting a gold nib, you are getting a piston filler. Um, is that worth it? As always, that's up to you. Uh, I have to say it's a very well-made pen, so I think you could do worse than buy it, even though it is a 
large amount of money and it, it does perform so that's there now one thing that's interesting is of course there are two very popular models by Sailor the 1911 which I think is about this size and the 1911 large which may be a little bit bigger but not, not a whole lot um, the large is definitely not an oversized, it's just a slightly bigger pen. Uh, the 1911 at Pen Chalet goes for $156 and the 1911 large for $248. And again, this one is $328. But those two are cartridge converter filled pens. So you can't, uh, you, you, they're not piston filled, lower ink capacity and all that. Okay, I hope this was useful so far. High resolution pictures of the pen will be on the website, sbobrown.com. Um, as well as measurements of the pen, what remains for us is a writing sample. That's coming up next. I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I am going to post this with the Sailor. Uh, I'm just not going to write down Pro Gear, I'm just going to write down Rialo. This is a broad nib, 21 carat. And the ink is Hiroshi Zuku uh, Yamabudo. I really like the uh, flow of this nib. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It's it's very very balanced. Um, as I said before, feedback. I don't really see any skipping, so consistent flow, bit of a feedbacky nib, not scratchy, but it's it's not ultra smooth. Wetness, well, looks pretty wet there, so that's nice. Flexibility or springiness. You can see there is some. Uh, but you do have to push down a bit for that, so I would be a bit careful with that. Um, reverse writing for those of you who like that. Quite smooth actually. And you go from a broad to I would say a very fine, maybe an extra fine. So that's very nice. I uh, I definitely enjoy this. And that's all there's to it. So I hope this was useful. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.